In the United States, the debt ceiling is the maximum amount of debt that the government can acquire. The debt ceiling dispute has long been a source for contention in American politics. Congress needs to increase the debt ceiling on a regular basis in order to allow the government to borrow more money. The debt ceiling has previously been raised multiple times to accommodate the growing government debt, which presently exceeds $31 trillion. Raising the debt ceiling is critical to avoid potential consequences such as debt default. Failure to lift the debt ceiling would cause financial market disruptions, higher borrowing costs, and damage to the government's credit rating. As a result, there is a strong desire to achieve an agreement to lift the debt ceiling and avoid these severe consequences. Debates over the debt ceiling frequently feature opposing views and demands from Republicans and Democrats. Republicans may press for expenditure cuts as a condition for extending the debt ceiling, whilst Democrats, such as President Joe Biden, may argue for a straight debt ceiling rise with no strings attached. We intend to provide current issues in five minutes video packs. Support us through your likes and shares and subscribe our channel as well. Since 1960, the debt ceiling has been lifted 78 times to reflect the government's accumulated debt. Some economists claim that the debt cap promotes fiscal discipline and public debate over government spending. The increase in the debt ceiling equates to an increase in the cost of debt payment. Higher interest rates and rising debt levels add to the government's financial burden. The comparison of debt interest payments and the defense budget emphasizes the importance of debt management and the potential trade-offs for government priorities. Debt limit standoffs have historically occurred, resulting in delays and uncertainty in lifting the debt ceiling. For example, Standard & Poor's reduced the United States credit rating as a result of the 2011 standoff. Similarly, in 1995 and 1996, disagreements over the debt ceiling between President Bill Clinton and House Speaker Newt Gingrich resulted in government shutdowns. Several problems may occur if the debt ceiling is not raised before the deadline. These may include the suspension of federal employee payments, the delay of pension payments, and the possibility of an interest payment default. Because the U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency, the effects may spread beyond the U.S. and affect worldwide markets. Higher interest rates, eroding international credibility, and financial sector turbulence might all occur from a debt default scenario. These scenarios would have a negative impact on the U.S. economy, potentially resulting in a stock market crash, recession, and job losses. Individuals can safeguard themselves against a potential debt default by creating an emergency fund, paying down debt, diversifying their investments, and having a strategy in place to deal with a financial disaster. Overall, the debt ceiling is still a source of contention, with various perspectives on its effectiveness and shortcomings. The current talks include questions about fiscal responsibility, economic stability, and how the government's budgetary processes work. Hit like and share if you enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe our channel.